In this video, you will learn how to make and process a jam using an atmospheric steam canner. To demonstrate the process, we will be making a reduced sugar strawberry jam. After washing the strawberries under cool running water, remove the caps by using a small spoon or paring knife. If left on the strawberries, the caps would be a physical hazard in the jam. On a clean and sanitized cutting board, slice the strawberries into uniform size pieces. Cutting the strawberries into uniform size pieces will help with mashing the fruit and juice extraction. Remember to inspect for and remove any damaged or poor quality strawberries. Place the cut strawberries in a large bowl until you are ready for the next step. To mash the strawberries, Transfer small batches of the cut strawberries to a high walled pot or bowl. Mashing the strawberries in small batches will allow for an even consistency and plenty of juice to be released from the fruit. Use a potato masher or a similar utensil to press down on the strawberries. Add more strawberries to the pot and continue mashing. Mash the strawberries until you have a mixture of crushed fruit in juice. Measure the strawberries after mashing to ensure the right ratio of fruit, sugar, pectin, and acid. If the strawberries were measured whole before mashing, we would not have the correct amount of key ingredients. Using a measuring cup or scale, portion out the quantity of crushed strawberries and juice needed to prepare the jam recipe. In this example, we measured six cups of crushed strawberries and juice. In this example, we are making a low sugar strawberry jam by adding a modified pectin to the crushed strawberries and juice. When using a commercial pectin, always follow the manufacturer's instructions for when and how to add to the fruit. In this example, the instructions state to first combine one quarter cup of granulated sugar with the modified pectin. Thoroughly mix the pectin and sugar together in a small jar or bowl. This step is important because once added to the juice, the sugar will help evenly distribute the pectin and prevent clumping. Add the pectin sugar mixture to the crushed fruit and juice. Stir until evenly combined and the sugar pectin mixture is dissolved. After combining the pectin sugar mixture with the strawberries, Transfer the strawberry mixture to a large pot. Ensure the pot is deep enough to allow enough room to add the remaining sugar and space for the mixture to boil. Heat the mixture over high heat until boiling, stirring constantly to prevent scorching. Once the strawberry mixture is boiling, this recipe instructs to let the mixture boil for one minute. After one minute, Add the remaining granulated sugar to the pot. Stir to combine and allow the mixture to return to boiling until the desired consistency is reached. As an option, you can remove the mixture from the heat to remove any foam that has formed. The foam is sugar trapped in air bubbles. There is no food safety concern for leaving the foam. It is an option to remove the foam for visual appeal of the final jam. After removing the foam, you can return the mixture to the heat and bring to boiling until the desired consistency is reached. To check the consistency, dip a large metal spoon into the mixture and turn it on its side. Carefully make a line down the spoon. If the borders of the line stay intact, the gel has formed. If the borders of the line disappear, continue to cook the mixture. Another way to test the consistency is to place a small amount 
of the mixture on a very cold ceramic plate. If the mixture holds its shape, the gel is formed. Sterilized pint jars have been kept warm and are ready to be filled with the strawberry jam using the hot pack style. To minimize mess, place a funnel in the jar opening and ladle the jam into the jar. A headspace of one quarter inch is needed for this strawberry jam. Use a headspace measuring tool or a ruler to measure the headspace. Add additional jam and re-measure the headspace as needed. Wipe the rim of the jar with a clean towel so no jam residue interferes with the sealing compound. Place the metal lid on the rim and secure with the metal screw band until fingertip tight. This will hold the lid flat in place while processing. After filling all of the jars, place them in the canner. In this example, we are going to process the jars using an atmospheric steam canner. Evenly space the jars in the canner so the steam can flow along all the sides of the jars. Ensure the water level is below the rack in order to allow the steam to flow throughout the canner once it is closed. Process the pint jars of strawberry jam for the required time based on your elevation. Follow the operating instructions for your specific atmospheric steam canner. A boiling water bath canner can also be used. After the processing time is complete, Allow the jars to remain in the closed atmospheric steam canner until they have cooled slightly. Carefully remove the canner lid by opening it away from you so any remaining steam blows away. Remove the jars from the canner using tongs or a jar lifter. Let the jars cool on the counter. Do not force cool the jars as this can impact the seal. As the jars cool, you may hear a clicking sound as the vacuum is formed and the lid flat is suctioned to the jar. Once the jars are cool enough to touch, check the seal of each jar. If the jar did not seal properly, reprocess with a new lid flat or store it in the refrigerator until ready to use.